I want to ask you a very simple question, and would like you to use the video polls on the right hand side of this video to answer it. When did Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa die? Was it whilst incarcerated in prison many years ago, or was it just recently at the end of 2013? If you said it was in prison, then you're wrong, but don't feel silly because you will not have been the only one to have said that, and that is down to something that has been all the talk lately, called the Mandela Effect. It was first mentioned in 2010 by Fiona Broom, who was convinced Nelson Mandela had died in prison and was confused to find out that he was still alive and well at the time. She didn't think much of it until overhearing a conversation some time later of people sharing similar thoughts that Mandela died in prison and that they remember his funeral vividly on TV. After this, she came up with something called the Mandela Effect, which basically means an event that someone, more importantly a large group of people, usually in the millions, are convinced something took place that in reality never happened or was considerably different to how they remember it. After sharing this new perspective that no one had talked about before online, people could relate and more and more examples of the Mandela Effect began to surface. I will talk about a few, then go into an explanation of why this could be happening that will most likely blow your mind. I will also be using the polls for some of these examples to gauge how everyone's views are different, so just click on the icon on the top right hand corner of this video to take part. Now the thing with this Mandela Effect is that it's easy for anyone to say that I remember it that way, but how can we know if they are telling the truth? Well thankfully, there are many videos that will help back up people's beliefs. And strangely, The Simpsons can be used as a reference in almost all of the most common Mandela Effect examples which I'll be showing. I don't know why it happens so much in The Simpsons or what this could mean, but it's the best way to prove this is not just a theory or someone making stuff up, this is real. For starters, picture the assassination of John F. Kennedy in 1963. How many people were in the car? Was it four? Well, if like most, you said yes, and why wouldn't you? There were pictures of a four-seater car even in the Time magazine relating to JFK's death, and even a documentary exploring the Oswald conspiracy, which surely would have wanted to get everything perfect to replicate that day, used a four-seater car. But there were actually six people in the car that day. And the people who support the theory that the driver shot Kennedy are in disbelief that there were two people in between Kennedy and the driver, dismissing that long talked about theory entirely. Next up, do you remember the famous line, that's not a knife, this is a knife? This is a knife! This is a knife. Well, that didn't happen, it was actually this. That's a knife. That's a knife. But the reason the majority of us think it's the first one is the Mandela Effect. Now this one got me pretty good. How do you spell Rubik's Cube? If like me, you thought it was like this, then you're wrong. It's actually spelled with a K and not an X. Again, visualize a picture of Mickey Mouse right now. How does he look? Big ears, red suspenders and yellow shoes. Well, he actually never had suspenders and only wears high-waisted shorts. Now the most famous and common example of the Mandela Effect is from Star Wars where most remember the famous line, even the actor who played Darth Vader in an interview, Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. But he never said that, he said this. No, I am your father. Speaking of Star Wars, many remember C-3PO being all gold, including of course the Simpsons, but he actually had a silver leg. Other things that you possibly thought you remembered, but are slightly different, include the thought that Billy Graham was dead, but he isn't. The interview with a vampire being called that, which is actually called interview with the vampire. The vision of the Monopoly man, rich Uncle Pennybags, having a monocle, which even I always envisioned him, but he doesn't. The thought that in the movie Jaws, Brody said, we're gonna need a bigger boat. However, the line is... You're gonna need a bigger boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat. The famous quote from Snow White, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the baldest of them all? Mirror, mirror. See that? Mirror, mirror. Again, this is the book, the inside of the book right here. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? The Volkswagen logo does have a line through it, and the comedian Sinbad did not play a genie movie, 
which there are a huge amount of people who say they remember him in a genie film in the 1990s. There are also stories of people seeing things on the news, then days later seeing exactly the same thing and are certain something unexplainable is going on. So where is all this going? And isn't this just a case of bad memories? Or in some cases, the fact that companies have subtly changed things without notifying us? Well, all of those are a possibility, but there is a much more interesting theory, and here it goes. Some believe that the Mandela Effect is proof that parallel universes exist and that we alternate between them. Now, this may seem hard to take in, but there are people out there that feel more in tuned into the reality around them and believe they have tapped into an alternate universe. And in the alternative universe, certain events mirror the universe we live in, but happen at different times and are perhaps perceived in a different way. For most people, however, the most dominant memory will take over and that is the one we remember. But those experiencing the Mandela Effect are recalling things from the alternative universe and become convinced that these memories are correct despite evidence to the contrary. It's interesting because there is some scientific evidence to support this and some of the brightest minds in science and physics believe it's entirely plausible that there is a parallel universe and that there is something more to the Mandela Effect than just our bad memories. To put it simply, we have no idea what is going on around us, and I'm not saying the Mandela Effect is people slipping into other dimensions, but everything we are surrounded by, life, death, space, and even time, is so complicated that our brains literally do not have the power to process what is happening or what the future holds. So although the thought that there is another universe that mirrors this one, or that there are so many different universes that eventually down the line, one almost exactly replicates ours sounds impossible, so did a lot of things that we now know are true, but never thought were. If you ask me, Forrest Gump had it right. Life really is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Well, life is like a box of chocolates. Mom, you no, never Mom. Know what you're gonna get. But wait, he didn't actually say that, did he? My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get.